What's up, family? So I wanted to talk about the process of traveling to Ghana. West Africa, for those who do not know. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the process has changed since I last visited the country. Um, so you will need, of course, passport. You will need a visa. You will need a yellow fever vaccination. You will need the COVID vaccination now. Also, as far as your visa, you would need, I believe that you would need um, tourist or someone to um, assist you with information as far as addresses and locations that you will be staying at. Um, it was not that much um, for me when I went the last time. I had to give the address, but I believe that they're asking for more information now. So go onto the Ghana Embassy website to confirm um, all of this information that I am giving you, please. Do not take everything word by word that I say because things are constantly changing. Also, you will need to go online for your nearest post office. So the local post office, you will need to set an appointment to um, get your passport. And you, it will range from $160 to $200, depending on how fast you would like to receive your passport. The information that you would need in order to get your passport is your ID, birth certificate, and social security card. Now with your ID, now you have to update your ID to where you have a star on this ID. I don't know if that makes it an enhanced license, but you do have to have this star for travel on your ID. Also, um, as far as the visa and vaccine and everything, like I said, go on to the Ghana Embassy website for that information um, just to uh, be updated. You know, so if you plan on traveling within the next year or so, you have enough time to get everything you need. Um, but like I said, just stay updated. Things are constantly changing. And I really think because now a lot of African Americans are leaving the US, especially traveling to Ghana, that they have put so many stipulations in place. Like they're making it hard. But I would not say faint and don't go. Uh you know, um, but Ghana is an awesome place for investment, especially black people, uh African Americans nice place to invest your dollars nice place to take your children to visit and learn history